Do you know what asthma is? Asthma deals with your lungs and your chest. When you breathe, the air goes in and out quite easily. The tubes inside your body that carry the air in and out of your lungs are round, open, and clear. Because you have asthma, you have twitchy lungs. That means that when you breathe in bad materials, your lungs get tight and make thick, sticky stuff called mucus. That's why it's hard to breathe and you feel like <laughs> coughing. But you are not alone. Asthma is the leading cause of chronic illness in children. It affects about 7 million children in the United States and is steadily increasing. Asthma can begin at any age, but most children have their first symptoms by age 5. However, not all children have the same asthma symptoms. These symptoms can vary from frequent coughing, less energy during play, rapid breathing, chest tightness, shortness of breath, and feelings of weakness or tiredness. It's very important you let an adult know when you experience any of these symptoms. With asthma, it cannot be fully cured, but with careful preparation, it can be maintained so you can live a normal and healthy life. As a general rule, you should always keep away from all sources of smoke. Next, let's talk about asthma attacks. These typically occur when symptoms are worse than usual. They can happen during long physical activities like playing, changes in weather, or certain allergies. You should always notice when you're having an asthma attack, as your chest and sides pull inward and you struggle to breathe. In this case, you may have an increased heartbeat, sweating, or chest pain. Please seek emergency care from an adult if you have to stop in mid-sentence to catch your breath, use stomach muscles to breathe, have widened nostrils when breathing in, or trying so hard to breathe that the stomach is sucked under the ribs. However, don't worry, because you're in good hands. Proper use of medication is the basis of good asthma control. You need to take some of your medicine every day to keep your lungs from getting tight and making that thick, sticky stuff. Even when you feel good, you need to keep taking it because it helps keep you from having asthma attacks. To help you, the doctor will develop an asthma action plan. This plan describes when and how you should use asthma drugs, what to do when asthma gets worse, and when to seek emergency care. Make sure you understand this plan and ask the doctor any questions you may have. And parents, it's crucial you make sure your child's caregiver and school teacher have a copy of the asthma action plan so they will know how to treat the child's symptoms if he or she should have an asthma attack away from home.